Hello and welcome to Special Relativity. Today it's time to solve another paradox I presented a while ago. The paradox of the key and lock. In this paradox we have a T-shaped key and a U-shaped lock. The key's length is that of the lock and by pushing the bottom of the lock with the key, the lock opens. The key has been trimmed to be shorter. Let's say L smaller than L0. From the reference frame of the lock, because the key is shorter and because it is length contracted, it won't make it to the end of the lock. The lock will not open. From the reference frame of the key, the lock is the one moving towards the key. The lock is length contracted and if the speed is large enough, it will make the key hit the bottom of the lock. The lock will open. What does really happen here? Well, let's study in detail the frame of the lock. The key is traveling contracted towards the lock. Then the end of the key hits the end of the lock, but what's next? Does the key stop there? The key is a solid object, isn't it? How does the top of the key know it has to stop? It needs to feel a push. This push should be coming from the end of the key. But this information is not, is not transmitted instantaneously. It needs, in the best case, the speed of light. Strictly speaking, it is the speed of sound in the medium. We are talking about elastic waves propagating through the key. From the end to the tip of the key. If that tension travels at the speed of light, it will take a time L over gamma over the speed of light for the signal to reach the tip and make it stop. Meanwhile, the tip continues traveling, continues to move. The object is plastic and not rigid anymore. If you find the suitable materials, of course. While the light signal travels to the tip, the tip is also moving. So, this is a race between the tip of the key and the signal, the light signal. The tip of the key travels at the speed of v. We can calculate when and where the light signal will catch the tip of the key. Light has to travel at distance l over gamma longer. So, the position at which the light signal reaches the tip of the key is the square root of 1 plus beta over 1 minus beta times L. This number is greater than 1 always, so there is going to be overextension of the key. Will this overextension of the key help reach the end of the lock? Well, let's find the minimum speed we need and the minimum length. If the key is not trimmed, the flying length of the key is just L0 over gamma. Then, because the factor we found is greater than 1, this means that the key will always open the lock. If you want the key not to open the lock, you need to trim more the key. To find the minimum length for the key to open the lock, let's call L the length of the lock and K the length of the trimmed key. The length L is the contracted key length plus the distance traveled by the tip of the key. Simplified into square root of 1 minus beta 
over 1 plus beta times L. For a given velocity beta, this gives us the minimum length of the trimmed key to be able to open the lock. So, keep thinking four-dimensionally and may the science be with you.